I'm back. I'm back. I'm doubling up tonight. <clears throat> That's why you still hear a new edition. <laughs> they singing on BET. <laughs> um, so, I am making this vegetarian pasta that my mother absolutely loves. A lot of the stylists love it when I make it. And it's easy to make. So, um, it actually has pesto in it. But I'm going to show you how to make a vegan version of pesto because if you didn't know, pesto does have dairy in it. So, uh, we got our little seasonings here. You don't need much. You need some sea salt, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, one whole uh, red onion um, diced up as fine as you can get it. Any pasta you want. Um, this is a gluten-free pasta. Uh, made with corn and rice. Sometimes I get the veggie pasta, but the texture is really different. So if you are a texture person, you would not be ready for the vegetarian based pasta or the lentil based pasta. They're good though, but I'm using this right now. Um, so any pasta you want. Um, a can of diced basil and garlic tomatoes. We doing these tomatoes again. Good flavor. Uh, your garlic. Got my minced garlic, but I got my fresh garlic too. Um, and then Italian dressing. I like the Wishbone brand, but and I cook a lot with Italian dressing, but you can use whichever one you want. Um, a little bit of avocado oil or virgin olive oil, and cashews, and fresh basil because we are making. We're gonna start making our. Uh, pesto first so you need your blender get your blender out get it ready and we're going to use a half a cup of uh, cashews now you can always double this recipe up i just want to show you i've already made it i want to show you a quick way to make it so you can soak these overnight which typically i don't like to do if i'm going to use them i'll cook with i will um i will let them sit in hot water for about 15 minutes or get you a nice blender, okay? So half a cup, you wanna use a half a cup of this fresh basil as well. So what I did was just took the leaves off, washed them real good, and so we're going to um, put these in here, okay? They're in blender. Um, as much garlic as you like to use. I'm going to use three cloves cloves because I absolutely love garlic. <clears throat> if you know me, you will find out that I absolutely love it. I use it in everything, so fresh garlic. Um, I wish we weren't going through this pandemic thing because I absolutely love going to the farmer's market and getting all of my vegetables. Absolutely love it. And I hate that um, we can't do it right now. So, excuse me for cracking this garlic. I do have a garlic press. I don't know why. I just, I guess I forgot to get the garlic prep before I hit start on the video button. But that's, it's all good. So, I got two cloves in there ready to go. I'm gonna use two cloves. And then, <clears throat> I'm gonna add some vegetable oil and a little bit of water. Some vegetable oil. And you're going to have to add vegetable oil as you go along in this video. I use a half a cup of water. Okay, time for the blend. Oh, let's season it. Salt, pepper. Sea salt. This better for you. Garlic powder, onion powder. Get that in there. So you can use whatever herbs you want to put in your pesto sauce, okay? On and blend. So, you need a, a pretty good high power blender when you are blending any kind of nut. Any kind of nut, you need a high power blender so you can break it up really, really good. Get it? Okay. There you go. So 
here is pesto. Now what you want to do is probably add a little bit more basil to this, okay? So when I'm making this, I kind of mess around. I add a little bit more basil to it to get it a little darker green. Uh, but you can do as much as you want. Mmm, perfect. The taste is perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna add some more olive oil to it and blend it up a little bit more. I want a little smoother. Just a little bit. And now we're going to pour this. We'll pour it in our bowl. So you want to have your bowl prepped and ready to go. Um, large bowl. I've already put a can of the diced tomatoes in here. And now I'm <clears throat> going to season it. Again, I do things a certain kind of way and I prep a certain way for the flavor. So I'm going to add my um, onion powder, my ground pepper, garlic powder, and salt. A dash of turmeric. Okay. In there. We're going to add a little bit of our red onion stir it up when you do this you are mixing up the flavors okay this is why i do this i'm i'm creating a base kind of almost like when people make gumbo or roux I'm making a roux for this now we're going to go in and add some minced garlic get you a big old scoop nice help Stir it up. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of my basil that I already made. Stirring it, pesto basil, and then some Italian dressing. Now, mind you, we're gonna layer this, so this is gonna keep going. Before the video started, I already uh, prepped some pasta, so I have my pasta already. Pick some up and drop it in. I'm gonna drop it in the bowl, not on the counter, okay? Now I'm gonna stir it and get that mixed in really, really good. Like I said, this is a pretty simple, um, easy meal. You can make this. You could eat eat it warm or cold. Some people like to eat it cold. I like to eat mine a little warmed up, not too much. Okay, so this is what we this is where we are right now. I'm trying with this bowl, y'all. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Your pasta in there. I'm trying to be nice for the camera, but I'm not going to be nice anymore. Can of tomatoes. I'm being too nice. Trying to get it all in here. Pesto. And we don't want to leave none behind, so we'll grab this. Get this in there. The rest of our red onion and our Italian dressing, and we're gonna toss this. Toss this real good. You want all the noodles to get a piece of the flavoring that you have put together for this pesto pasta, honey. This is so super good. It's one of my favorite. I used to eat this all the time. Now, sometimes you can add um, like black olives or cheese to it. People do that and that's okay because that's what they like. And I'm just showing you again, like I always tell you what I add to my pasta. You can add whatever you want to yours. 
this is how I like to eat mine, okay? So we got most of those flavors in there. We're gonna go back, add a little bit of sea salt. Onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder. Uh oh. Almost lost some seasoning. Oh, you can add a little Italian seasoning. Because I feel like it. I like that. Okay? Toss. So just give it a healthy tossing. Everything is in there. And now we're going to plate it. Okay. Got the plate ready. Avocado ready. Onto the plate. Mm -hmm. You get a knife. I wasn't ready. Working with a one man show, okay? One man show. I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of avocado. This avocado just makes it so much better, guys. And if you are not an avocado fan, being vegetarian or plant-based, honey, let me tell you, I eat so many avocados and they say it's a good fat, so. Let's thank God for the good fats because there's a lot of other fats out there we don't need, right? So, go ahead and garnish it with that. And then, finish it off with a little, um, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little bit of parsley, but I guess it wasn't because um, I didn't have it open. So, let's get this parsley open. I like to use fresh parsley. I usually keep it around, but sometimes when I'm not doing a lot of cooking, um, it starts to go bad. So I keep my backup parsley. Bam! Here you go. This is a nice meal for tonight. I'm going to grab the rest of my um, Heineken and uh, sit and enjoy uh, my pesto, my vegetarian pesto pasta. All right, guys, thank you. I look forward to showing you a new meal next week. Again, doubling up tonight, same outfit on, same movie playing in the background, but it's all good. We're getting it done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.